thank you, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair, Chairwoman, uh, honourable members of uh, the Cont Committee, uh, dear Commissioner Moedas, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, it's my pleasure to to be here and uh, to welcome uh, both uh, both new members of the Cont Committee and also. Uh, those who were re-elected, and uh, to re reiterate again the commitment of the court uh, to uh, uh, to assist uh, to assist the Cont Committee and the Parliament in uh, the activities. Uh, spending under Category 1A uh, supports leadership uh, ambitions of the European Union uh, in many policy areas. Uh, it is a significant share of uh, the EU budget. And in fact, uh, it will be even more so uh, in in the future. Uh, and uh, from the course perspective, regular and compliant spending uh, is key to ensure uh, that the European Union and its member states uh, get most out of uh, the financial means that is that is allocated to this uh, to this spending category. Uh, I am uh, I'm pleased, therefore, to, uh, to present to you the results of our audit work uh, on spending in 2018. Uh, first of all, very briefly about what did we do. Uh, we had uh, four major modules in uh, uh, our Statement of Assurance Work 2018. The first module is a standard exercise that we are doing every year. Uh, which is a substantive, uh, substantive testing of underlying transactions that we do ourselves. Uh, this year we had a sample of 130 transactions, and in the presentation you see uh, the breakdown of these, of these transactions uh, to various types of spending. Uh, importantly, in Module 2, uh, we assessed uh, the ex post audits uh, of the Commission in, in view of potentially applying uh, the attestation engagement uh, uh, system for Horizon 2020 in the future. Uh, in this uh, part of the work, we reviewed, um, uh, we reviewed a sample of 20 ex post audit files from the Commission, uh, and uh, uh, this, covered, uh, this covered the Commission payments uh, and clearings made uh, in respective time periods. In Module 3, it was a very brief module, we reviewed the annual activity reports of, of the Commission, of various director generals. Uh, and finally, in module four, we collected uh, performance information um, in our module one sample. So basically, in the project we, uh, we, we analyzed in module one, uh, we also assessed them from the performance uh, point of view, and you can find the findings in, in, uh, in uh, uh, respective part of the chapter. Uh, next, uh, the main results of our work. Uh, we, uh, we estimate the level of error for the whole MFF 1A, uh, 1A category, including the low-risk expenditure, to be 2%, uh, which means that uh, the, the error rate uh, is still material. Uh, the error rate, you, you will have noticed, the error rate uh, has decreased uh, uh, compared to, th to the previous years. It is uh, a welcome development. Uh, and uh, we believe uh, uh, that uh, uh, simplification measures, uh, most notably in Horizon 2020, uh, could, have, could have contributed to uh, this improvement. Let me, let me come to, uh, to the overall conclusions. Uh, our results indicate uh, that research expenditure remains a high-risk area and it is still uh, the main source of error. So despite the improvements, uh, uh, there is still room uh, 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 for, um, for, potential, uh, for potential improvements, uh, and I think, uh, I think we will continue the work in this direction together uh, with the Commission. Uh, we, we also, as I said, in, in the framework of Module 2, looked at um, the audit work of the Commission. And we concluded that uh, at this stage uh, we could not uh, we could not rely uh, on uh, the audits that were performed by the commission. Uh, as I said, we looked at uh, we looked at 20 cases, 
and in 10 cases uh, we for various reasons could not conclude that we could rely on on, uh, on the commission's uh, exposed audit uh, despite this conclusion uh, we intend uh, to repeat uh, to, to repeat module 2 uh, under the state of under the statement of assurance exercise 2019 in order to have more evidence upon which eventually to base uh, to base our assessment. But it is already clear that uh, for DAST exercise 2019, we would not be able uh, to use the attestation approach. Uh, and finally, uh, we, uh, as I said, we reviewed the, the uh, annual management and performance report of, um, of the Commission. And we found uh, that, uh, that overall the information contained in this document uh, corroborated our findings uh, and conclusions. Let me now come to the main recommendations uh, that, we, that we put forward uh, for your attention and for the attention of the Commission. Uh, first of all, we, uh, we recommend uh, to carry out more targeted checks of small and medium-sized companies' cost claims and to enhance the Commission's information campaign uh, to target more and better these important beneficiaries. This has to do with the fact that we found uh, that uh, SMEs, most notably new entrants to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to Horizon 2020 programs, uh, they are more prone to errors than, than companies that have already been receiving uh, EU support uh, in the past. Uh, recommendation number two uh, uh, for the next research uh, framework program, uh, we invite the Commission to, fully, uh, to further simplify uh, the rules for calculating personal costs because these, this is the area where we found uh, a, a substantial amount of errors. Um, and finally, uh, recommendation number three uh, for, for Horizon 2020, to address uh, the observations made in the context uh, of our review of uh, ex post audits concerning documentation, uh, sampling consistency, and reporting, as well as the quality of the audit procedure. So this is the result of our work on the uh, module two. I think I can uh, stop here my, uh, my presentation and uh, would welcome uh, any a, any questions and ensuing discussion. Thank you very much, Madam Chairman.